Hi, students. How are you? Students, today you're going to learn about the indefinite articles A and AN. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify the use of A and AN. And you will be able to use A or AN correctly before words. They are used with singular countable nouns. With singular countable nouns. Example, I have a pen. I have a pen. Pen is singular and also it is countable noun. So we should use a. I have a pen. We can use indefinite article with this word. And pen is countable noun. It's also singular noun. The same. She has an umbrella. She has an umbrella. Umbrella is countable noun. It is also singular. So we can use here indefinite article an. She has an umbrella. Indefinite articles are adjectives. On the other hand, indefinite articles are adjectives. They modify noun following them. A or an means one. Example, a student entered into the school compound. A student entered into the school compound. Here, when we say a student, it means one student. We can say one student entered into the school compound. In English, there are 26 letters. Five of them A, E, I, O, and U are vowels. The rest 21 letters are consonants. A is used when the word following it begins with a consonant sound. A is used when the word following it begins with a consonant sound. Example, a table. A table. T is consonant sound. So, A is used with such kind of words. A table. A ball. A ball. B is consonant sound. On the other hand, an is used when the word following it begins with a vowel sound. An is used when the word following it begins with a vowel sound. Example, an ox. An ox. O is a vowel sound. An ox. An eagle. An eagle. A is a vowel sound. A is a vowel sound. A and an are used to point out any person, place or object. This means they do not refer to a particular object or place. Example, a boy. It means any boy, not particular boy. An apple, any apple. A and an are not used before uncountable nouns. Example, we can't say he drinks a milk. We can't say a milk. Milk is uncountable. But we can say he drinks milk. The use of a or an depends on the beginning sound of the word, not on the letter with which it begins. Not on the letter, but on the sound. Example, our. Here, H is silent. In fact, H is consonant, but it is silent. 
it is pronounced as our so here we we should use an in this word h is silent it begins with the vowel sound a with a vowel sound a so we use an before it an hour other examples are an air an air honest an honest on the other hand there are some words that begin with a silent vowel letter and begin with a consonant sound example european this word begins with a vowel letter e but e is silent it is pronounced european in this word e is silent it begins with a consonant sound y so we use a before it a european a european Okay, students, now do the following exercise. Put a or an into the following blank spaces. Exam Every person has blank, unique fingerprint. Every person has blank, unique fingerprint. The answer is a. Every person has a unique fingerprint unique okay number one there is blank chair in the room there is blank chair in the room If your answer is A, you are right. Number two. The child eats blank egg every morning. The child eats blank egg every morning. If you said an, right you are. Number three. Blank. Barber is a person whose job is cutting customer's hair. Blank. Barber is a person whose job is cutting customer's hair. The answer is A. Number four. They saw blank girl fighting the soldiers. They saw blank girl fighting the soldiers. The answer is A. They saw a girl fighting the soldiers. Number five. Blank hour has six seconds. Blank hour has six seconds.
if you said an you are right an hour has six seconds number six he has blank happy family he has blank happy family If your answer is A, you are right. Number seven, she wants to be blank actress. She wants to be blank actress. If your answer is an, you are right. Number eight, blank, old man is sitting in the church. Blank, old man is sitting in the church. If you said an old man is sitting in the church, you are right. An. The answer is an. An old man is sitting in the church. Okay, students, have you answered all the questions? Very good.